Okay, Critter 5 is now out and it got me excited to use Krita again. Uh, Krita is the very first software I used when I started digital drawing and if you're a beginner, I do recommend Krita. Uh, as of the time of this writing, developers have released 5.0.2 update to the software and I updated mine just to make sure that I get the latest and greatest of the freeware that is there for digital drawing. So, a list of few things new to Krita written on the website. Uh, Krita is faster, uses much less memory, and is more dependable. Uh, improved gradients, not ingredients, gradients. New brush engine based on my paint. Uh, improvements on the animation system, which I don't use as I'm not an animator. Uh, built in storyboard editor. Again, I don't use this, but good for those who does, and a recorder. Now, this I will use, I love recording my stuff, and thanks to the dev team. To test the update, I decided to finish off a sketch I started two years ago when I just started using Krita. I must say I don't feel there's a lot of difference to the way Krita 5 works. To me, still feels the same as the old Krita. And I guess that's a good in a way, but that's just me. I still like to explore it and maybe try some of the added brushes they have. Anyway, that's Krita 5. Krita lovers, don't be shy. Leave a comment if you love Krita. Uh, thank, thanks for watching. See you on the next post. Bye bye.